All right, guys. Um, it's cooled down. Sun's starting to go down, and uh, I came out here to uh, to work on this. And I found a distributor cap, the blue thing there. Here is, uh, that's the distributor cap that was on it. See how it's all melted and burned and stuff? Yeah, that was from the, from the engine fire. So anyway, uh, I had the engine turning over by hand. I lubricated, took out spark plugs and lubricated the cylinders a little bit. Not enough to hydro lock it or anything. And I poured some sea foam in the carburetor. Um, I can see the accelerator pump here, this lever here. That's the accelerator pump on the carburetor. And it pushes a plunger there when you, when you push the throttle. It pushes that plunger down. But it's not coming all the way back up. Um, that might affect the performance but it shouldn't affect shouldn't affect how um, it should run it should still pass fuel and stuff so what I did was I put the distributor cap on took all the wires off so I'm not really sure it has to be uh, timed and the firing order is right is printed right on the intake one eight four three six five seven two so I've got the timing mark, there's a timing mark, uh, there's a timing mark down, down there, you can't really see it, but there's a timing mark that goes, it lines up to a, a line on the crankshaft, so I got that lined up, so I'm not sure if it's on the compression stroke or not. If it is on the compression stroke, then the rotor on the distributor will be pointing this way towards the towards the number one cylinder somewhere here. And if it's opposite, if it's not on the compression stroke, the rotor it runs off the camshaft, so it'll be pointing the opposite direction because the cam turns half as slow as the crankshaft or half the speed. Sorry. So I loosen the the clamps here. And uh, I never turned the distributor. I never adjusted that at all. So it should be uh, it should be in pretty close to the number one position, which would be one of these here, or or exactly 180 degrees out. So let's find out because I'm not sure. I haven't lifted this off yet. But uh, I put this green wire on here for a test lead, so I can put power to it later. Okay. The rotor is pointing forwards, so I think we're on the compression stroke. So since it's pointing forward, that should be pretty close to the number one right there. Because you want the rotor pointing to the number one while, while this is lined up to get pretty close to the top zero degrees. Should be pretty close anyway, enough to get it running. So now I can start putting my spark plug wires on. Starting with number one, which should be here. And then I'll go one, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. So one, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. Because it turns clockwise, the distributor turns clockwise, or the rotor does, sorry. So, um, now I know where my spark plug wires go. This is your number one cylinder. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So number one is on the front here. Number eight is on the back on the passenger side. So, yeah, the wires go one, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. So I'm going to do that next. And once I have once I have the spark plug wires on and a battery in it, I've I've disconnected all the wiring so I don't have to worry about any wiring problems. I'm just gonna test the starter manually and test the engine manually. 
I'm just going to hotwire that distributor and see what it does. And I'll get back to you on the, on the next video.